Now yesterday, I noticed my neighbor out standing on his patio and he was just in his shirt sleeves. And uh, I thought, it must be pretty mild out. And I looked at my thermometer and it said 20 degrees Celsius in the backyard in the shade. That's like 68 Fahrenheit. And it was a beautiful day. It was, I went out and, and talked to him a little bit and yeah, it was a beautiful day. Well, look what happened overnight. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, once again, enough about the weather. I'm going to bring you in here and I'm going to show you what I'm doing here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Is it never going to quit? Okay, what I have done here is I have drilled holes in this piece, corresponding holes, right beside where I broke it off. I'll move in a little bit more in a minute here. And the idea is that I want to be able to rotate these around so that if you have a high spot on, on say, the peg, the corresponding place where it broke off, there should be a uh, sort of a divot or a, 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 a you know a, a concave place um, and these are these are kind of tight you know those little pegs that you used to when you're a little kid you had a little block of wood and it had a bunch of holes in it and the idea was you were you pounded the pegs through well they're kind of tight like that they're not so tight I can't twist them but they're they're tight enough that once I get them set in place they're not going to move anyway we'll just see what we can do here Well, you know what? This is going to be a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be. Um, I'll, I'll slip on the macro lens. Um, okay, I've got to, I've got to tell you, all of these glues are pretty much the same in that they both dissolved the plastics on both parts and sort of ripped apart. This first one that we're looking at that's in the center of your screen here, that's the Revell. Okay, this this next pair is the is the testers, the 40-year-old glue. And surprisingly it all, it still was fairly potent. Okay, these ones here. Now this one, where's my list? Okay, this is the Tamiya cement. Now you can see there is quite a bit of cement there at least at least I can see it around the uh, what you might call the what formed the crater <laughs> uh, in other words it didn't all evaporate okay this one here is the extra thin it, it almost appears to me that the extra thin had more of a ripping action. I'm looking straight down on it. I'm seeing it a lot clearer than you are. And this last pair here would be the extra thin quick. Um, it, it also did pretty good. I, I, I would think that... No, no the, the Revell here did, did really well. But I, I'm I'm sort of leaning towards the extra thin. I think I'm going to probably stick with extra thin. But they all did really well. Um, yeah, sorry about that. I, I know we thought we were going to... I, I really did think it was going to be more definitive than this. So uh, let's, let's get on with bending some photo etch. As one of the viewers said, I go to any length to not have to bend photo etch. And it, it sure does seem that way, doesn't it? Okay, we are done here, 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 now we're right here. Remember, uh, I think it was yesterday or the day before I was mentioning how I had this thing honed to a real sharp point? Well, this morning when I was trying to make centering holes on these things here, I was using it, and it was too sharp. I was actually bending the point uh, just by trying to, you might say, prick a, a little hole in the plastic. So I've kind of had to blunt it here. Uh, anyway. Now this piece has to be bent somehow to end up looking like this. And 
and this piece here has to be bent to look like this to fasten somehow onto this so I think I think what we'll do is we'll we'll bend this first to the shape that I think it's supposed to go um, I think I'm probably going to use Andy's photo etch bender to to sort of hold it flat I was noticing when I was bending these other pieces here that it was it was kind of difficult to hold it perfectly flat in the Tamiya photo etch bender and uh, now mind you these things were extremely fragile okay now if we look at this part here you'll notice that on the side on this side it's got this uh, little you might say this is kind of embossed it's kind of rough it's almost like extremely fine sandpaper and You'll, you'll see it here and you'll see it right here on the back so at first I thought that this that this would be bent these pieces would be bent towards us but it, it appears that in order for this part here to be showing like this it has to be bent away from us which means uh, in other words, the the way they've got the the uh, photo etch embossed here, normally you would bend it towards the line, but if we're going to have it end up looking like this, it has to be bent o away from the line, and I think the idea is that after you we get this thing bent into shape like this, then this flat part that I'm touching right now would would fit into this and would 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 stick better with the CA glue you know you, you gotta you gotta remember not everybody is going to uh, solder their parts together uh, you know like like Steve can in the model shed I have thought about it I, I do have a soldering iron as I mentioned but I I'm just kind of leery about trying to solder something this delicate I probably end up have a, having a big globby mess on my hands uh, anyway, I, I guess we're going to have to bend these parts away. So if that's the case, this has to go in here. Get this underneath here. Now, I, I don't want to accidentally damage this grill work here because that's that's going to be you know, part of the, uh, you know, what you're going to want to have showing. There's only three little places that it's going to bend on, like, like right here, right here, and right here. Okay, I think I pretty much got it there. Now we don't let it go down too hard. And one more thing here, I, I don't think this gets bent at a 90 degrees. I think that it would, if you notice right here, the, it angles a little bit. And, and right here, it angles a little bit. So uh, that would probably mean that when this is folded forward, this part here, well, first of all, I'll bend it. I'll bend it to 90 degrees less what, what I'm going to eyeball this as. Now I guess we can always, you know, bend it more or less later. Uh, okay, I'm just sort of thinking out loud here again. Now when I blunted this blade, I thought it was a good idea, but I think it's just, it's just too blunt. I, can't quite, can't quite get it underneath some of this photo etch here. I gotta get it sort of started. There we go. Now remember, we're not going to go at 90 degrees. We just want to go. Oh, probably. I'm guessing. 75 degrees. 
Okay, let's just leave it like that and see how how it looks now when we fold this around. If these uh, these angles, like this little angle right here, now is that going to ma match up with the way we bent this? worried here in that I'm just wondering why is it that they designed the photo etch to be bent you know that the the the, uh, the lines oh we got this in the right place here maybe I should go a little closer Okay, now we just want to bend this whole thing up a little bit here. Are we bending it at the right place? I believe we are. Maybe I'm uh, macroed in too much here for you to see what's going on. Oh my, did I, did I damage our grill work or does it just look like I did? Okay now, okay, now we have to bend it right here. Maybe, I wonder, can I get this all the way underneath there now? No, it's not going to fit. I'm going to have to come up with a different idea. Maybe the, maybe the photo etch plier. Okay, I'm hoping I've got my plier adjusted back enough. Oh, is it bending at the right place? Maybe the this part has to be just out just a little bit here. Let's see what's going to happen. Yeah, it appears that the photo etch plier has to be pulled back just a little bit. I'm going to have to readjust here. down too far because the part is going to start bumping against the the plier here. Yeah, that's a problem. Okay, let's uh, readjust here. Okay, now I'm looking straight down on it and I can sort of move my head around and see the angles. Now this this is going to come in like this, but I this should be at right angles 90 degrees to that to that grill. Okay, I think now when I get my my plier out of the way and push this together, it should it should fit pretty good. Okay, if I can keep it over this little black mark here, you should be able to see what I'm trying to do. Um, Okay, I want to try and 
glue it together like that. If I could get a little bit of a little bit of CA. So let me check the monitor. Can you still see it? Okay, if I get a little bit of CA on, on the end there, just right up here where my finger's touching there. Um, at least that's the plan. Maybe I'll see if I can't just hold it together with something and then, because it has a tendency to want to spring apart here. Okay. Now if we use Andy's photo edge bender slash vice here, we'll just squeeze it down. Yeah, I think it's gonna work. It it almost appears that this this flat piece right here has to be maybe bent in just a little bit more. Um, yeah, just a maybe just a smidgen more and I don't know I'm gonna I'm gonna have to grab hold of that. I'm gonna have to do that off camera. Okay. All right, how does that look there? If I was just to put a little bit of CA on the on the end there, it's kind of loose, isn't it? Don't want to go too tight because then you start squashing stuff. Okay, let's readjust and see if we can get some CA on that. Now I put some CA thin in the little uh, cup to uh, sample from and I suddenly had the thought of what if when I touch it on here it wicks its way down and glues this part to Andy's photo etch bender. Now I'm, I'm sure I could break it loose. It's not very tight is it? Um, well let's just give it a try here and then I can reinforce it from the inside with the medium later. I just I just want to get this this one seam right here. Let me get my other glasses on. It doesn't seem to be wicking down. Okay, let's give that uh, a few minutes and I'll let it out these last few scenes that I've taken here. That'll take about an hour. So, <laughs> yeah, I think that probably in that time this this should hold together. So we'll be back here in a few minutes. Probably about an hour actually. A little over an hour has passed here. Probably about an hour and five minutes. Now when we take the pressure off, is it going to spring apart or is it going to hold together? Well, so far so good. 
Now let's see if we can get some CA along that other seam. I'm going to have to flip this thing over. Okay, we are flipped over. Now there's nothing that we can do here. This is, this is open. But the other side, see if I can carefully turn it around now. Okay, the other side where this grill work comes up against this, this part that I'm touching right now, or maybe I should say where it comes down onto it, I'd like to have a, a bead of glue go all the way along the edge there. Now, I don't want to have this shoved in too far because I think that's just about right. Let's see what happens if I close this down now. bit of an opening right there. I don't know if I should try and push that down or... Um, maybe because I don't have this thing centered, maybe I should have this this whole piece right over the center here. I'm just going to readjust. Now I, I got so involved with what I was doing there that you didn't see me putting a little bead of glue. Maybe I'll just tighten that up just a little bit here. Try and try and get just a, a little bit more and seal this gap here. Okay, let's uh let's let that cure now. It's it's uh, there's a you can't really see it probably but there's a bead of glue all the way along this whole this whole edge there and if that cures properly I think it's gonna be fairly strong you know as, as strong as CA glue can be on photo etch right probably about half an hour has passed here and I'm sure that you noticed it too uh, maybe I should be using a clean end um, one of Tennessee Jim's mini Q-tips here. Uh, when I use one, I save it unless it gets really, really bad. Now you probably notice that along the edge there, there was some uh, CA glue. I don't know if I maybe if I had a you know gone along the edge there and wicked it off into the Q-tip, but I, I, I imagine it's cured now. Um, here's a little blob of it. That's, uh, yeah, well, I can scrape that off with a razor blade or something. So I, I would think it's probably safe to, uh, to release the pressure on this, but, but if this one is still a little soft, it could be that these are soft too. So maybe what we'll do here is, uh, uh, we'll just l give this a little bit of time. Let, let's look at that other piece of photo etch that we have to bend. It is supposed to somehow fasten onto this part. Now this side right here of this flat part that has to be glued onto the other the other piece, it's it's smooth. And and so is this side. What do we got on there? A little bit of dust or something. Okay, uh, so I guess it doesn't matter then which one of these surfaces gets glued onto it, so we may as well, you know, bend this thing the way it's supposed to go. It's... Okay, now, let me check the monitor.
Okay. Uh, clearly, you can see that the that the uh, indentations that we bend towards are on this side, not the other side. So I, I don't know if I should uh, try Andy's photo etch bender for this or not. It might be a good idea actually to to hold this down at least at least to do these long these long ones in Andy's bender and these little wings out the sides here that I'm touching right now well we can we can do them probably just bend them up I think it'd be okay see the, the problem is we like it something better to uh, point with here okay no no the problem is that when you try to bend something like this up like this you're gonna bend it up it, it may not bend where it's supposed to. Instead of bending right here, it may bend out here. So uh, I have to be careful how I grab onto it. Probably would be best to maybe use the, uh, the photo etch pliers and try and grab onto this edge and then bend this piece up while holding onto this piece. Um, but you know what? I think we're going to have to leave that for tomorrow uh, because the other piece is still in Andy's bender. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching everybody and all being well, we will see you tomorrow.